All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, feature match of the evening. This is the champion versus champion match. We have uh, C.J. Snow, the recognized United States the women's contest. champion, coming out the ring side, and she will be taking off her match. opponent Making and, her uh, I guess, the colleague race. in the championship From field. That'll be Elizabeth Justice, which is a little bit of an announcement. United States this, champion. for all intents and purposes, will be Good somewhat of an exhibition team. match. Neither championship will be on the line in this particular contest. It just uh, happens to be that both participants are champions as they enter the ring. Um, Snow, a bit more of a uh, fan favorite in this environment, whereas Justice is the opposite of that. But I'm not entirely sure that Justice cares. Honest, she will be coming around ringside with her tag team partner, friend, and bodyguard. That might provide the, a little bit of the unfair advantage, but only time will tell for that. And here she is right now, the internet women's champion, Elizabeth Justice. There's just a little bit of irony in the fact the that she would go and label season. herself Justice. Because we've seen her cheat. Win. Here she is. And you can see the uh, championship belt. Those YouTube being the centipedes. Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, etc., etc. She is the uh, champion of the internet. Or at least that's, that is what the uh, championship represents. It will be uh, quite interesting to see how this goes and what sort of bragging rights will be found from uh, this contest. And we got the two uh, getting prepped here. The match will be uh, coming underway. There it is. There's the bell. And there's a lockup by the two ladies. Snow pushing uh, Justice over into the corner, into her corner, in fact. See the Mamba out there, Black Mamba. Her, uh, like I said, tag team partner, friend, and bodyguard. A clothesline by Justice coming out of the corner. Caught Snow. I guess she was looking to get a uh, reasonable exchange of holes. That's not going to happen here. Nice ball drag by Snow. Cooked in real big drop kick. That one really hit me. Those who are chopped, just is able to counter that. Shoot Snow into the turnbuckles. Tried to charge in with the double knees. Did not work. Was not effective. Just dropped down by Snow. Over the top with a leap block. And another drop kick. Catches her again. With a big money shot. Oram sends her reeling into the ropes. And now Snow shoots just as up. Slide through the legs. And a flying head scissors tosses Elizabeth Justice to the other side of the ring. Forearm shot by CJ Snow grabbing the chin of Elizabeth Justice hooks her into SST. Severe skull trauma hits the mark, goes for the cover. Remember, I forgot to say uh, earlier that this is two out of three falls. There's a float over with a neck breaker. A move made somewhat famous by Kurt Henning, Mr. Perfect. I saw a backsplash attempt there, but uh, Justice was able to counter it. Goes in for a drop kick, misses. And for the third time, the drop kick of Snow hits the mark. I guess Justice was trying to uh, give her a seat, but she couldn't really line it up. Big chop. Snow's char so Snow sends her to the uh, opposite corner. I guess she does not want to be there. Well, uh, the Mamba is right there. Justice turns it around. Goes for a move off the top rope. But Snow is able to counter it. To the corner. And CJ Snow with a tornado DDT out of the corner. Goes for the cover. Hook the leg. Referee's down for one. And Elizabeth Justice is out at the one count. Nice hook around the chin. CJ Snow. Brings it down in somewhat of a, a reverse suplex. Springboards it to Moonsaw. It's right down on the abdomen. 
being that this is two out of three falls, you would imagine that the uh, objective here is to get the first fall between the two. That which should allow whomever scores that first pin, submission, uh, DQ, kind of whatever the win may happen to be, a uh, distinct advantage because it puts them in the driver's seat. They will not have to work as hard to uh, score a pin just to tie it up. Justice, Justice looks like she was uh, going for that as snap married to a knee spike that she likes to do. There's Snow. Drop kick drives Justice off of the apron onto the floor, which is not going to do any wonders on her back. Snow shoots her off into the uh, barricade again the second time off into the barricade, then first into the barricade. Snow takes a step back and a big clothesline. Throw her full body, full steam ahead, right into the uh, the throat, looks like, of uh, Elizabeth Justice. And she was pleased with herself right there. Justice not down. She's trying to get her breath, get it back up. And this could be work out to it be a, a count on victory. Remember, all wins count. Doesn't matter which or how they do it, as long as they do it. Hoist it up onto the shoulders is Elizabeth Justice Snow. Looks like she might be going for a cradle driver, and she's got it. Hooks both the legs. Referee's being a little slow. Two count. You see uh, Justice reaching desperately up to make sure that the world knows that she is not down. She's still up, and she's still active. Trying to get back up to her feet. There's uh, Snow to meet her, but Justice is able to get free of whatever it was that Snow was trying to do. Reverse about CJ Snow for whatever Justice was doing as well. There's a hookup. Justice fires her off. Goes for a clothesline. Duck underneath. Arm drag by CJ Snow. And she just pulls her into uh looks like power ball position. And there it is. The jackhammer with the, excuse me, the jackknife with the bridge. But it was not enough to keep the internet champion down. Elizabeth Justice is able to come out. She breaks free. And an uppercut. Charles for a punch, and there's a block by Snow. Nice kick into the gut. Second to kick. Looks like there's going to be a pump handle into a gut buster. CJ Snow now dragging her uh, opponent to the middle of the ring. There will be no rope breaks there. She went for a beautiful moonsault, but no one was home. And now here comes Justice trying to take control and the monkey flip takes her out of the corner and sends her right back into the very same spot that she was in no less than 10 seconds ago. Goes for a snap mare. Snow is able to counter it. Nice reversal. Shoots her to the turnbuckle. Justice with a kick in the mouth. Turns her around. Turns her around to get with a big right hand and then a face plant. Going for the cover. And Snow out before there is a one. Kick in the back. You can see Black Mom out there rooting for her partner. Just is trying to get up to the top rope, but not moving very quickly. And that may work against her. Snow up to her feet. Missile drop kick with a miss. Just right out to the floor. Pushes her into the turbo. Well, not, not the turbo, but pushes her into the ropes. It looks like it was it may have been a little bit of a miscalculation, but a nice uh, recovery by Snow as she goes in, shoots her off, slides through, and another flying head scissors takes Elizabeth Justice down into the turnbuckle. Justice is able to come out of it. Whatever it was that she was trying to do, she got away from it. And that is what Justice was looking for right there. And snapped Mare and drove that knee, the point of it right into the spine of C.J. Snow. That may turn the tide here. Hooks the leg again. Referee a little bit out of position. And there's a one count. And, uh, there might be some frustration there by Justice. Tries a forearm shot. Snow's over. Got away. Her Karana. And she got it in good. This might be no. Justice is able to escape. DDT. And for the cover. Justice able to get out of that one as well. To the corner we have uh, Elizabeth Justice, but she escapes immediately, putting her elbow right against the face of Snow. And Snow takes it back, pushes her against the ropes. 
Now she shoots her through into the apron, brings her head through the middle ropes, and got somewhat of a uh, pile driver using the second rope as the uh, point of leverage, almost like a teeter totter, if you will. And now she's on the top rope with a spinal tap. And she hit it. And she couldn't put the pinfall right there. She had to come off and she went for it just a second later. I think she might have gotten a, a pin if she was able to get it uh, immediately. But she was unable to do that for whatever reason. Maybe for the positioning that they just were laying. Fireman's carry, or, or I guess firewoman's carry as a counter. Justice takes a uh, second down snap there. And another knee straight to the back. Again, she just fired out, got the point of knee right into the spine. And that might be the bullseye. That might be the thing that she's looking for to try to uh, keep herself in the game. Ooh, stiff kick right into the abs, into the stomach. Justice is uh, waiting. Like she was trying for another kick, but CJ Snow was ready. Caught it, and she just ate a clothesline. Elizabeth Justice did for her trouble. And now here comes Snow. She just forces uh, Elizabeth Justice out to the floor. And this is awesome, Chad. I think the fans know what's about to happen here. Snow floats over the top rope onto the floor. Look at that. There's the replay. She shoots herself off, misses all the ropes, just takes her entire body, floats right over the top, and lands like a pancake right on top of uh, Justice. Shoots her back in, and this may be where she's going for a coup de gras. There's a springboard, goes for a splash, but she misses it. Justice now going for a cover. It'd be something that this is it. There's a one count, but that was not enough. A kick by Justice. Snows down. As he drags her off into the middle, and there's that stiff shot into the stomach again. As she's lining her up, looking like she's trying to get something. As a kick in the stomach. Here comes Justice with a cradle neck break. And got too close to the ropes. That could have been good in her favor, but uh, positioning was not her friend in this particular instance. Float through by snow. Crossbow punch, Justice able to counter. Comes back with a forearm shot. Twisting wrists. That's in a top wrist lock, but that is not enough to keep CJ Snow down. The shots to the abdomen and the ribs. Breaks her free, but Justice catches with a nice arm drag counter by Snow. But she gets caught with a drop toe hole and walked over top of her body for the trouble is uh, Elizabeth Justice, making sure that she lets her know that she's still in control. Shot to the shins. Justice hooks the legs. As in slingshot position. Shoots her halfway across the ring to where Snow's throat comes right down on the bottom ropes. Incredible. And where she had full control somewhat earlier in the match. Oh, kicking the head. Tetch <laughs> just places her face right into the back. Where well, Snow had almost full control earlier, now Justice has turned this around and she keeps, I guess, uh, maneuvering her body between Snow and wherever direction that she's aiming to go. And as soon as she peeks her head up, she takes a kick in the back for her trouble. And now she just shoved her. I, I think that's just a case of just pure arrogance there, going for a snap mirror again. Snow has that move well, Scott. Has gotten out of it more often than she's been hit with a drop kick in the back in the corner. Here's Snow. Being laid up against the ropes, but not weak enough against the ropes that she was not able to counter Elizabeth Justice. Just hoisted her up and over the top rope onto the floor. However, this is not a battle royal. That would not constitute a win. Try for a drop kick. It worked earlier three times. It was the money, but the fourth one didn't count. Oh. Justice shoots her head first right into the steel post. And that is not going to be uh, good for Snow by any measure. Now here comes Justice. One swift move comes up to the top rope. And there she goes with an elbow drop. But she caught nothing but the canvas. There's a full Nelson break free by Justice. And a counter again by Snow into the German suplex with the bridge. And... 
<laughs> the Mamba up to the apron to distract the referee. And now we have two moments in this match where one competitor could have potentially have won, but we'll never know because of things like that. Drop to hole by Snow. Sends her right into the second row. So she's back. Drop kick in the back of Elizabeth Justice. Now Snow. Looks like she's making the uh, trip to the top rope here. Moonsault, beautiful. And again, she misses and it sets her up for Justice to take advantage of it. And Justice is taking advantage of it. A couple of stiff shots and she has just driven Snow to the bottom rope. She's backing herself up on the outside. Looks like she's sizing up for that drive-by drop kick. Let's take a quick look at the replay for that. Here you go. Right to the side of the head. Boom. Nails CJ Stone. Catches her. And the first fall may come here. Not quite. Snow still says she's got a little gas left in the tank. She was able to get out of it. And Justice is really, just really going after the head. There's a nice leg drop from now, but just nice counter by CJ Snow. And a clothesline sends Justice to the floor. Springboard into a flip right onto the floor. My God, to the, uh, Talk about... Uh, Putting your body on the line and risking it all. Snow did exactly that, but it paid off. She connected with Elizabeth Justice. For the efforts that they're doing, they almost have to wonder how much of this can they take. Justice back into the ring. Snow pushes off into the rope, shoots her in, duck underneath. Nice leapfrog. Goes for a belly to belly, perhaps. Justice able to counter. Snap there. And a nice, stiff kick into the back. Maybe not as potent as that uh, knee that she likes to drive in there, but I'm sure there's some, there's some effect in it. Justice is just driving the uh, head into the mat and just, just really, really taking advantage of CJ Snow right there. Cranking down on the neck, at the top of the head and the uh, jaw. He's turning it. And that's one of those classic examples why wrestlers train their neck so hard. And again, I think there's a little bit of arrogance here by Justice. She's, well, I was going to say she's literally waiting for Snow to get back up, but she picked her up, tried to go for a coup de gras, or at least to set up for it, and it wasn't enough. But she caught her with a neck breaker, rolls through for a pin, and Snow, Snow, able to escape at the last minute. There's a chin lock applied by Justice. Get back up to her feet. Snow. There's an elbow shot. The second one breaks the grip. Through the turnbuckle. Whatever it is that she's attempting to do, Justice is ready. And that was a nice big boot down. Just drove her in the face and down to the mat with that shot. And up to the top rope, she's gone. Snow chase and adjustment by Elizabeth Justice. She was going to go out to the outside, but the second that Snow came in, she redirected herself and caught her coming right into the ropes. And I guess this is why she is a champion as well. Snow up to her feet. Tries for a, a kick in the guts to Elizabeth Justice, but it was not enough. Not quick enough to do it, but Snow is able to do it. And she's going for that patented submission maneuver of hers. She's got Elizabeth Justice tied up in knots, so to speak. And she might get a tap here. And Justice is really struggling. See her legs kicking back and forth. She's trying not to give in here. And there it is. There's some knee shots right to the side of the head. And that manages to uh, get Justice free. Hurricane runner by Elizabeth Justice. Turn about being fair play, I would imagine. And there's a kick by Elizabeth Justice. Justice comes down with a drop kick to the back of the head of CJ Snow. And now just picking her body apart, going after one thing after the next. 
head, shoulders, arms, and hooks the leg, and not enough from C.J. Snow, able to kick out. And there's a stiff shot right to the back. Double cut by Snow. And his roll through. Just was able to kick out of that. DDT. I'm not sure if it's safe to say that either person in this match has a distinct advantage. Nice chop by uh, Snow. Just strong enough to send her right back to her back. And to the uh, turnbuckle she goes. Here comes Snow. And Snow, as she have in mind, she looks like she's going to slice bread number two. She hooks both legs. One. Two. Justice able to kick out somehow. She has still survived thus far. And Snow, I think I just out of frustration goes for the cover again. Justice again with the kick out. It's a breakaway by Elizabeth Justice. Hooks uh, Snow. Looks like she might have been going for a full nose, but she turns her around and took that little drop there. And for the snap mare, clothesline by CJ Snow. And Snow coming out to the outside, perhaps. A splash! Running off the apron and then shooting into a splash onto the floor. Wow. It's incredible that she was able to get that. Now she's back into the ring. And will this be enough? Springboard catches her with a splash right there off of the top rope. This should do it. One, two. And that's what I get for picking her. She's still got some fight left in her forearm shot. Shot by Snow. There's a series of uh, kicks and punches and forearm shots that I'm sure CJ Snow was uh, happy to deliver, and Elizabeth Justice was sorry that she had to take that as a rope break. Perfect positioning by Elizabeth Justice that she was able to get that arm up to the bottom rope and save herself. We are 20 minutes into this match, and no one has scored a single fall yet. I just noticed the time. It's a springboard. Reverse. I think she might have been trying to get a, uh, that reverse DD, the SST off of the springboard. She tried for a hurricanrana there, and then Elizabeth Justice just casually walked back, elbow shot. Nice counter by Justice into the uh, fireman's carry. Big right hand by Snow. Is a Gary to the back of the head, and Elizabeth Justice immediately, immediately rolls out to the floor. Great recovery by Justice. You have to give it to her. And Snow charges out to the floor with that suicide dive. As I was saying, he had to give it to her. She felt herself in trouble and immediately rolled herself right out of harm's way. Now, it might be frying pan into the fire for her. And she's caught on the outside. And remember, any win will do. It doesn't have to be a pinball. And Snow off of the apron. She's sizing her up as she just laid her across the uh, barricade. To that corkscrew leg drop to the back of the head. Here's the uh, second look from another angle. Here's another one. And that should be enough to hold her down. This should be enough to hold her down if she's, she could have gone for a count out. Now she's going for another pin. Oh! Springboarded in, tried to go for a splash, but missed the mark. And that might have knocked the win out of her. No. Justice went immediately for the pin. CJ was able to get that shoulder up and save herself from, from uh, certain defeat. And there's a kick, but a counter by CJ Snow. And a nice short clothesline puts Elizabeth Justice down. Elbow drop. A nice measured elbow drop. Eight minutes, 20 seconds on the clock and counting. Here comes Snow with the moonsault. And this one, beautiful as it was, she connected. She might be uh, going... For too much here. Here's the springboard. The 450 splash, and then she hits it. Two big moves back to back. There's the referee for the cover. And still, 
Still not enough. Trying for that float over net break again. Justice got out of the way. And there's a big chop. A nice chop and kick to the side of the head. Snow's able to get away from the other thing. Yeah. Ducked underneath the clothesline, but Justice was right behind her. There's that monkey flip. And to the middle of the ring. Right in front of the referee. He wasted no time getting down there, but CJ Snow was still not ready to give this thing up yet. There's a chin. Snow trying to wrestle her way free. Justice trying to hold her down. Snow getting back up to her feet. There's one elbow shot. There's a second one. Front face lock applied and a nice counter and escape by uh, a Justice. Snow charges in with another flying clothesline. There's seven minutes now. And there we go with the pay leg kick from C.J. Snow. Dragging Elizabeth Justice towards the center to get her away from the rope. She's already had one moment where she was able to break free considering the rope break. But this is not the time that C.J. Snow wants that to happen again. Remember, neither lady have scored a single pinfall in this two out of three match. And time is ticking down. It will be of the essence if anyone gets to be able to score here. Whoever does it now will certainly be in control. That's the neck breaker to the foot over the pin. And this might do it for it. No. No. CJ Snow again able to get out, able to get that arm up, able to show the world that she's still in. Just as is waiting. And she tried. Not sure what it was that she was going to go for, but she gave it a big kick. Snow was able to counter it, saw it coming, or at least maybe felt it coming. There's Justice. Forearm shot by Justice. Hops over the top ropes into the ring, shoots. CJ Snow into the turnbuckle, tries with maybe a monkey flip again. There's Snow over the top of uh, Elizabeth Justice's body, back into that submission maneuver that she has. Will this be enough? Will it make Elizabeth Justice tap? Justice is still, still kicking the legs around, trying everything that she can to hold on, fight back, escape, whatever she's got to do. Remember, it is getting down to the wire, and whoever is able to score here is going to be easily the most important pinfall or win of the match. With this little time to try to make a comeback if somebody scores is only getting more dangerous. Front face lock by Justice. Picks the leg on CJ Stump. Drops the leg drop right across the knee of Snow and now brings her back out. Perhaps maybe for a cover. I thought she was going for a cover there, but apparently not. She might be uh, thinking this thing through. What can I do here? To keep her down, she's uh, played this game earlier where she stands in front of us in whatever direction she was going to go. Justice just kind of readjusted. And she might be doing that now, but this is not the time for uh, arrogance. This is the time she wants to win. This is the time for her to go for the win. Justice stands. CJ Snow back up, goes for that snapmare, unable to succeed. Justice is tossed out and over the top rope. Drop kick. And again, Drop kick puts her off the apron, but it makes it fall back first to the floor. Not comfortable at all. Roll through by Snow on the outside. It's applying the calf needle in. And as much damage as that might do on the outside, it would not get a, a uh, submission. So I'm not sure how effective that would be overall. Forearm shot by Snow. Six. And Snow into the ropes. There's that drop to her by Justice as she walks her opponent. Never let it be said that uh, <laughs> Elizabeth Justice was not uh, lacking in humility. Of course, I'm being facetious. She shoots herself up to the top rope, comes down. It's like she might have been going for a knee drop, perhaps. But we'll never know because she missed. Two. Three. Snow. Three. Three. Looks like she might be looking to line up that uh, course with leg drop again. And she hits it. Let's take a 
look at the rerun. The replay. And uh, our angled shots now, if she can get her in. And again, we are under three minutes. Whoever can score the pin in these three minutes, or 2.45 and counting, certainly will have an absolute advantage. Here comes Snow, springboard. And every time she keeps coming up short with the springboard, nice leg jump by Elizabeth Justice. This just picks her up. There's the snap man on the knee, driven right into the back of the spine of C.J. Snow. And smartly, smartly, she drags her away from the rope so there will be no rope breaks on her behalf. No rope breaks against her. Unfortunately for uh, Snow, she didn't have to use the rope. She was able to get out, even though it might have taken everything she's had to do it. Into to the turnbuckles is C.J. Snow. Here comes Elizabeth Justice. Twisting wrist lock. That shoots Snow out, she catches her, turns her into a drop to a hole, and there's an escape by Justice. They are just exchanging holes and moves right now. And a big kick right into the stomach. We saw Justice do that a couple of times earlier, and, and the stiffness of that shot has not gotten any lighter. Justice over the top rope, up to the top turnbuckle. She sized up the opponent. Beautiful fist drop by Elizabeth Justice. I mean, just came right down across the head of CJ Snow with the roll through. And this made do it. Oops. She's not going for a cover. She's going for a submission. And this may do it. Will she be able to get CJ Snow to tap? We are one minute and 15 seconds into this match. And I am concerned as to who may get a win or submission here. CJ Snow is able to break free. And now she's going for her big move. With this snow plow. This should be it, folks. No. Justice. Somehow. Last minute. I, I would imagine at this point in the match, it is a matter of pride that you do not be pinned. And she does not want to be pinned. Neither one of them. There's a springboard. It's a Mozart. And she misses. And now Justice. We've got 35 seconds to count. And there's a snap on the uh, left leg of CJ Snow. Snow. Counters out of that snap man. Into the ropes. No. Shoots off, pulls her back, catches her with a side back breaker. We got 20 seconds and counter. Snow going to the apron. And she's waiting for Justice to get up to her feet. As Justice is trying to get up to her feet. 10 seconds. There's a springboard. Forearm shot. And the springboard outside in. There's the reboot. Replay. We got five seconds. She's going for the cover. I think it's too late. And that's the match, folks. That's the match.